was going to happen, but now it is official. PG&E has filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. ABC 7 News reporter Amy Hollyfield is live in the newsroom with the latest. Amy. And they filed for bankruptcy or declare bankruptcy at midnight. Investors are not happy. One investment group, Blue Mountain Capital Management, says this will hurt shareholders and that the entire board at PG&E needs to be replaced. So a lot of turmoil over this this morning. Here was the scene at the Public Utilities Commission meeting yesterday in San Francisco as PG&E prepared for the filing. More than 30 protesters showed up and shouted at the commissioners. The protesters used public comment time to read the names of the 86 people who died in last year's campfire. But the panel moved forward anyway and approved PG&E's plan to obtain $5 billion of loans from several major banks to keep the lights on while the utility goes through Chapter 11. The CPUC today is enabling PG&E's criminal negligence that killed 86 people in the campfire with a $6 billion bailout on the backs of the already struggling ratepayers in the state of California. PG&E estimates that its liabilities from the 2017 and 2018 wildfires will exceed $30 billion. In a statement released overnight, PG&E says it is committed to enhancing its wildfire safety efforts and rebuilding efforts. One other note, in an SEC filing from Friday, PG&E reported it is giving a senior vice president a raise from 500,000 to 575. So that's raising a lot of concern as well. People asking why are they giving raises when they're declaring bankruptcy?